With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that Jaspal Singh repays his total loan of Rs. 1,18,000 by paying every month starting with the first installment of Rs. 1,000. So, the for, for the first month, he pays an installment of Rs. 1,000 if he increases the installment by Rs. 100 every month. So, every month he increases in his installment by 100 by Rs. 100. So, what amount will be, will be paid by him in the 30th installment? So, we are required to find out the amount that he will pay in the 30th installment. And the question further says that what amount of loan does he still have to pay after the 30th installment? This is the second question. Now, let's first write down what the question is saying. So, the question is saying that the Jaspal Singh is paying 1000 as an installment for the first month. In the second month, he is paying an installment of 1100 because he is increasing the installment by 100 that means 1000 plus 100 will be 1100 then again increasing the installment by 100 in the third month he pays 1200 and so on so if we observe what we find is that the first uh, there is uh, the first installment is 1000 the second inst installment is 1100 the third installment is 1200 so if i find found the difference if i try to find the difference the difference is 100 in each case because third term minus second term is also giving us 100 and second term minus first term is also giving us 100 that is the common differences or the difference between the two terms is common so we can say that this is an AP so this is an AP now we have the first term of AP as 1000 A is equals to 1000 the common difference D is equals to 100 so now we are supposed to find out the 30th installment. 30th installment means that 30th, 30th term of this AP, which means that we are supposed to find out the value of A 30. Now we know that the formula for nth term of AP is A plus n minus 1 multiplied by D. Now A 30 will be A plus 30 minus 1 multiplied by D. Now, 30 minus 1, A is 1000 plus 30 minus 1 is 29 multiplied by D is 100. So, this will give us the 30th installment as 1000 plus 2900 which will be equal to 3900. So, this is the 30th installment. 30th installment is 3900 rupees. Now, let's move to the second part of the question. Now, for the second part of the question, we are asked that how much will he, how much still, how, how much uh, does he still have to pay after the 30th installment? That means, after the 30th installment, how much money he has paid? When I will subtract that money from the total loan, I will get the money that he still has to pay. So, first of all, let us find out the sum of first 30 months of installments. So, n is equals to 30. So, we are required to find out the sum of first 30, first 30 installments. And because this is an AP, so we can use the formula for sum of n terms of an AP, which says that Sn is equals to n divided by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So, S30 will be equal to 30 divided by 2, 2a. A is, a is 1000 plus n minus 1, 30 minus 1 is 29, multiplied by d is 100. So, on solving it, I will get sum of first 30 installments is equals to 15, multiplied by 2000 plus 2900 will give us 4900. So, on solving it, I will get sum of first 30 installments is equals to rupees 73,500. So, these this the the amount or the installment that he has paid uh, till 30 months is 73500 but the total loan was 118000 so the the amount left the amount of loan left will be equal to the total amount or total loan total loan is 118000 18000 
so rupees 1 lakh 18000 minus the amount that he has paid till 30 installment that is 73500 and this will be equal to rupees 44500 so this is the amount that that is left after 30 after paying 30 installments that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today